Cleanup efforts uh, continue in Lawrence County. When the storm rolled through that area, it knocked several trees down. Wanye Reese spent the day in the Emerald City seeing how folks are starting the process of cleaning up. The sounds and sights of people cleaning up in Lawrence County. Oscar Solomon spent the day raking up this yard with debris everywhere. He says Michael is the worst storm he has ever seen. No, sir. No, this is the bad one. Bad one. Along Bellevue Avenue, down trees and power lines have shut down roads, leaving people like Johnny Cleveland, his partner, and their three-month-year-old without power. We have no power. We have no means of uh, heating water or anything, so we come to the park to get some type of power. And one of the hardest hit places here in Lawrence County is Stubbs Park. As you can see, Hurricane Michael snapped this tree in half, but city officials say this is just a small part of the debris that they have to clean up. EMA Director Don Bryan says it will take at least three months to get everything cleared. Meanwhile, Cleveland is hoping power crews and the city can get his lights back on. Helpless. It make me really feel less than a man not to be able to do some of the things that I supposed to be able to do, but I also understand that this was an act of God. Brian says that if a tree falls on your private property, it's your responsibility to get it moved. And while people wait for their power to be restored, Cleveland is thankful everybody in Lawrence County is okay. I saw this tree, I was like, good thing was nobody at the park. It was bad. Didn't expect it to be this bad, especially inland. In Lawrence County, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. Bryant is asking the community to be patient while they work to get the streets clear.